We are wrapping up things today with Kate from Family Do Dots. Thanks for joining us, Kate. You're welcome. We are so excited to have you. Now, many kids are worried about being on the naughty or nice <laughs> list that's coming up with the holidays, but how can parents get their kids to stay good all year? My sister does threaten that Santa's watching even in July, <laughs> but I, I think <laughs> it's a little bit far. How should we do it the right way? Well, I think that's a, a great question because parents are always wondering, how can we motivate our kids? How can we get them to do the things that they need to do, have good behavior, do their chores? Mm -hmm. So I have a little sneaky, a fun little trick that parents can use. Okay, I like so. it. Okay, now is it called the store? Yeah, so it's, that's right. It's a family store, and you have the family store all year long. Oh. So it's not just at Christmas time, but okay. the kids do light up the same as if it's Christmas. Every week you hold the store, and Even kids, in March? Yes, even in March. Okay, so, so. pretend that we are now your children. Mm -hmm. Break okay. this down for yes. me. How does this work? <laughs> okay, so what you do with the family store is kids earn tickets that they can bring to the store and trade those tickets in for items at the store. And so the important thing parents need to know is that the family store is for the extra things, like okay. the behavior, um, goals, things that they're setting. So because you're going to have your regular chores mm -hmm. and kids will um, earn their privileges for that. So okay. that's kind of a separate thing. But if they are, say they're making their bed without complaining, you can say, you know, good job for making your bed. You know, Brooke, oh, you get a ticket. ticket. Oh, <laughs> I get a ticket. Oh, oh, so, sure. yeah, or Carrie, way to go not fighting with Brooke today. You oh, get a no. ticket. That's an interesting day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you never fight. <laughs> so, so they earn tickets and um, it's just really fun because you're noticing all the good things the kids are doing. And so it reinforces that behavior, makes them want to continue the behavior. Mm -hmm. And as they continue to do that and you reinforce that, then after a while they're doing the behavior on their own and you can pull the tickets from that behavior and start on a new behavior okay. and do that so, so that it's sense. amazing so you're not bribing them to do something that's expected like hey mm -hmm. if you're if you act right you'll get a toy it's if they do the right thing like above and beyond yeah, you that's kind of how notice you can it kind of um, okay. and you can actually use it to your advantage as well if you're in a hurry to get out the door and you're like you know okay, everybody who that. has their shoes on <laughs> and is in the car before I get there you get a ticket I love that you so, keep it real that yeah, is my favorite yeah. okay yeah. what about ages does this work for all ages do you think yeah so I would start around four or five for the kids you know they need to be able to count and kind of know oh five tickets wow that's awesome what I can get with that and um, teenagers when they come to the store you just swap out for cash you know you can transfer into their bank account or give them the cash that's good motivation so, that's yeah. straight they, up cash they love it yeah and I recommend holding the store once a week at a certain day certain time that way the kids look forward to it kind of like Christmas they look forward to okay. it they know when it's coming and they've saved their tickets they want to purchase items and they are yeah. ready for it okay speaking of the store what kind of items can they get so uh, I, has, I recommend doing a wish list with kids and so having them split their wish list to, you know the paper into half uh -huh. and it's free items and I like things that don't cost money for the parents and then the um, uh, things that do cost money so like the free items would be a sleepover at grandma's painting toenails with mom and mom oh, like okay. fishing and dad like a little extra Good. yeah, yeah. Time yeah you make like, like a little that. coupon exactly okay. um, and then the other items would be more like toys electronics clothes makeup jewelry um, you know those kind of activities or maybe uh, going to a jumping park and playing um, okay. you know so things that cost they, money. those are probably gonna cost more tickets yeah. for the kids kids as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and you always do want to have things in your store that are low ticket to high ticket so everybody that comes to the store, even if it's just a one ticket candy, they can still buy something in the store every time they come. You still get something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and you, you have a Black Friday sale even. Yeah, you yes. Know, yes, you got to <laughs> make it. your store fun. So, you know, gear up, Black Friday sale, the kids can save up their tickets and get the things that are on discount. You can have sales throughout the year, layaway, oh, double it, ticket Kate. day where the, you know, you so really fun. need them to do well. Yes. So, you so provide those. more tips yeah. like this, where can we find you? you come to Family Do com and that's where we have our do dots family system um, that we sell that incorporates a family store as well as a leveling system so it makes a lot of uh, successful um, approaches for kids and homes great, great. okay thanks so much you're welcome we'll be right back